Hello everybody, my name is Matthew and uh, I wrote a little program for uh, Mac which basically is the Tegra RCM program for Windows and uh, I'm going to make a YouTube video on how to install it and how to use it. So I guess here we are. So uh, yeah, so you can go and download it off of my GitHub. I don't have it anywhere else so if you're downloading it from somewhere else, uh, concern, don't, don't download that. But uh, let's go ahead and start the download here. And it's only 5 meg, shouldn't take too long to download, but you go ahead and open where it is in your downloads folder and double click it. And then you're greeted with this and you just drag it straight into your applications folder. Then once it's in there, double click your applications and here it is. But if you try to open it right now, it'll say um, developer can't be verified. Well, that's me. Unfortunately, I didn't pay a hundred bucks to Apple to be like, verify my program. So instead of this, you're gonna right click and press open. And uh, it'll say, well, we can't verify it. Are you sure you want to open it? Do you trust it? And you can press open. Uh, if, if you want my credentials of, of safety, you can go and read the code uh, or get someone knowledgeable to read the source code here or compile it themselves. I don't know, whatever, whatever floats your boat. But anyways, um, so we're going to go and close up everything else. Um, well, inside of this, you can just right click and press eject. And uh, I actually opened one earlier, so there we go. And um, now we have this right here. So uh, assuming that you've already set up your SD card, you put it into your switch, and you know how to put it into RCM, uh, and, and your switch is obviously jailbreakable, um, like with whatever exploit in the V1 switch. But uh, yeah, once you have all that set up, then you can finally use this program. Um, so yeah, but uh, let's go ahead and load into the payload. But we can just drag it straight into this little box here. And we can also just press browse and find it, but uh, either way will work. And uh, it says switch not found, and that's because my switch is actually not turned on yet or plugged in. So uh, let's go and do that. All right, so I have my jig in the switch, and I, uh, I'm pressing the volume up and then power. And finally, I need to grab my USB-C cable that's currently connected to my laptop, my MacBook. There it is. I'm going to plug that into my switch. There we go. All right, and there's our switch setup. So now if we go ahead and go back into my application here, we press refresh and there we go, switch found, okay? And then once I press inject payload, hold up, I'm, I'm gonna do some configuring for this real quick. All right, there we go, that's much better. So now when I press this inject button, the switch boots up and it says that I've successfully smashed the stack. And uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. I can go ahead and launch into my custom firmware and everything. So, I mean, considering that you have everything set up and all that. But that's my little program. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed and uh, I, I hope that this is useful for you. I, I, I only published this video because basic, basically a bunch of people said, wow, this is, uh, you know, this is like super cool. Good job on making this. And then there was this one guy on Reddit that said, are you God? And I was like, what the heck? But uh, yeah, that's all. Thanks guys for watching.